Hey guys, InfoSecPad here with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Windows 11 backup, setting up backups to my NAS. I have to set up my new Windows 11 for this, so I figured I'd make a video on how I set up my backups. I want to use Ease Backup. It's pretty simple. Let me just open my browser here, and we're going to be using Ease US for backups. It's free. I want to set it up from scratch. I want to download it, show you guys how to download it, install it, get this boy configured. I have it configured on the machine back there, pointing to my NAS, and now my new Windows 11 desktop, I wanna make sure it's backed up too. So I figured I'd just throw this video together. So if you guys wanna back up your systems, it can be Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server. I don't think this works on Windows Server. I think this is mostly for uh, desktop clients. All right, so again, like, subscribe, share, and uh, I don't really have to do a disclaimer because I'm not doing any uh, cybersecurity in this video. We're just gonna be setting up an easy backup. So let's go to it, come on. So here on my desktop, I have Ease, uh, Ease US, which is free backup. It's totally free. There's no like catches and all that stuff. So you can just hit download here. You can put your email and that's all good. So I'm gonna download it, okay? So right here we have the home edition you can pay for or you can just pay for backup and restore, which that's what I want to do. I don't care about all this other stuff. I just want to back up my data and port it to my NAS. So we can download that. And I already downloaded it, as you can see here. And uh, we can go ahead and open the folder. Let's minimize that. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click on here and run as administrator. Let's get this thing configured first. So loading, let's install it. We're gonna install the free one, okay? Because I'm a cheapskate and I just need to back up some data. I don't have to go too crazy on this. So we'll let this do its thing. And while this is uh, doing its thing, let's go ahead and go to my PC. If you see here, I don't know if I can make this bigger. Can I make this bigger? Medium icons, extra large icons, whoa. I always like the details, I don't know. But well, you can see here InfoSecPat data, PDG-NAS. So on here I have you know, a whole bunch of stuff here. So what I can do is I wanna make a new folder. I wanna name this Windows 11 Backup, okay? So I'm gonna point my backups on this Windows 11 machine to back up to that folder once this is done installing, okay? So this is gonna take a few seconds It'll probably take just a couple of minutes, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the videos. Like I always say, really enjoyed making these videos. And uh, I made some cool new videos coming out. It's gonna be uh, Eternal Blue, because I did an assessment with uh, for a client, we're helping a friend out, and we found some vulnerabilities on Eternal Blue and Keep Blue, which is RDP you know, uh, exploit for remote uh, desktop protocol. All right, so make sure you guys watch those videos. It's pretty cool. And you can test that if you guys are running a Windows 7 environment, a Windows 2008, 2008 R2 environment in your business, just to make sure you're not susceptible to these vulnerabilities and make sure you can patch them, All right? Be safe. All right, so this, complete, uh, this installation is complete. We can go ahead and hit start now. And we can, uh, congratulations, thank you. And I'm, just, I'm using the free one, so complete license, license free, okay, doesn't matter about that right now. We're going to go ahead and start up a backup. Let's, uh, I want to X out all of that. So the first things first, what we can do here, we can do a file backup, we can do a whole OS backup, we can do a disk or partition backup. In my case, I'm just going to do a file backup, okay? I just want to back up certain directories that I care about. If the operating system blows up, I can, re I can reformat, install the operating system, but my files are more critical to me, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back up my documents, my favorites, go on my computer, go to OS, Let's see if I can make this bigger. And then in here, my OS, I wanna go to users, and I have InfoSec, which is me, and then I wanna go ahead and on here, I want to do 
downloads. I guess I'll grab my downloads, my desktop, my... That's it for now, my documents. And that's it for now. And what we're gonna do is this is the destination, right? The destination is going to be a NAS device, in my case, right? So what I can do is actually I wanna go ahead and do local. I wanna do my uh, network, no computer, infosec pat because it's, it's, it mounts as like a D drive. And I have to log into this. Oh, I think I fat fingered that. Hope that's, it. yep. So now we have my backup here. And now we should see the Windows 11 backup. So we're gonna throw it right on the root there. That's gonna be my destination, okay? My description is gonna be win-11 dash 2021 dash backup backups okay cool so I want to go ahead and proceed and now it's going to go ahead and start backing up those files okay so now let's go to that directory Windows 11 and you can see that we have this folder you can go in here and obviously it's going to start generating documents I don't really have much but it's going to put it in this folder and this file, I'm sorry. And once this is done, you can double click on that and browse your files like you would in regular Windows Explorer. Okay? So I don't know how long this is going to take. What did I say? Now you can do whatever you want. Okay. So this is just going to take its sweet time. And you see the process right here. It's backing up the files. And let's see the operation. Do nothing. I don't want it to like shut down my computer when it's done, hibernate, but this is it. Now I just set up Ease US Backup to back up my files going over to my NAS. That's pretty simple, right? And if you have a, a hard drive plugged into your computer, it's the same thing. Like I just have a NAS back there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's back there on a, serv on a server rack. And yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This is how you back up your machine and stay safe and uh, keep your data secure and if you get ransomware if you get your machine blow up all that stuff you can have your data backed up super critical at least for me my data is super critical so thank you again for viewing hope this has been informative and until next time take care guys